like to spend a moment and introduce you to base motion drill number three. This is an excerpt taken from Johann Sebastian Bach's Violin Sonata number three. It was just part of a bar in that sonata, and I took it and extended it through the key, as well as transposing it too, I believe, as is often the case with these examples. If you've not yet done so, I'd appreciate it very much if you'd subscribe to the channel, like, share, leave a comment. If you'd care to leave a tip, the PayPal information's in the description below, and we'll get to base motion drill number three. So this is really about keeping a kind of stately and long flowing bass line. And we're just going from, from root position in this case, we're going to start with C and E. We're seeing the key of no sharps, no flats on the board. C and E, fifth string, second string, third fret, fifth fret. While we sustain that E on the second string, we're walking up to a D bass note, a whole step above. Then we're doing a voice exchange where C and E becomes E and C. are really important to know. So this exercise encodes them into a little line. So we get up to E and C, 7th and 5th fret of the 5th and 3rd strings, E and C. Then we walk down to D, and hit an octave D on the third string seventh fret. So the formula for the mechanism is we begin somewhere, we go up a, a step in the bass, go up another step, and the, the melody's dropping by a third. So that's the melodic contour. Trying to play these things really legato, really connected. Now we're going to go to D minor, five and six, D and F, fifth string, second strings. Walk up again. Our formula is start somewhere, up a step in the bass. In this case, it happens to be a whole step, and then we swap voices. D and F becomes F and D. 8 and 7 on the 5th and 3rd strings. Then we trade off E's, 5th and 3rd strings, 7th and 9th frets. Now we're going to jump off to E minor, E and G, seven and eight. Bass is gonna come up a half step here because of the key we're in, no sharps, no flats. And then we're gonna swap E and G is gonna become G and E at 10 and nine. And I, I hope it's starting to really be clear what's going on with the mechanism. Then F, the exact same fingering as we had for C. 8 and 10, walk up the bass to 10, then swap the voices, A and F, 12 and 10, 2 Gs, 10th fret and 12th fret coming down, then we're going to get G and B, 10 and 12, walk up to A, on our way to swapping B and G. G and B becomes B and G. So it's a way of having motion, but keeping the same overall chord quality happening. And there's some ways in which you could hear this A as a little D7 chord or a little 5 chord.
that kind of sound, where just one note is standing in for an entire chord quality, D7. So then we move up to A minor, 12 and 13, A and C, the walk up to the next scale tone, which is B, C and A, 15, 14, double Bs, 14, 16. Now this little B minor or G over B, 14, 15, walking up to 15. Same thing, voice exchange. 15, 17, and 16. 15 and 17. And we're back home to see. find some other melodic lines improvising. That's the way you start with these things. Get accustomed to a kind of bass motion and a flow, and then start seeing if you can vary the upper line or vary the bass line if you'd like to try that as well. But this is a bass motion drill, so we're kind of keeping to the same bass line throughout. I hope this finds you well and enjoying your music, and as always, I do wish you a very good day.